We are five, six hundred meters in on Slussy Creek. That's McFarland. There's Crossover and Parks, and then Canyon Creek is the next one. We are on the right hand side of the river, walking up on an old, old logging road, and this one is supposed to take you to some of the old min file occurrences. Last time I read that this road was used was 20, 30 years ago. So we will see how far we can get. Just on the side of the road here, right before the first major creek, it's 50 meters in front of me. You can see how steep the mountain is. There's some pyrite throughout the slaty rock here. So that is Slussy Creek right there. We are on the first side creek that comes down. The plan was to go up some of these creeks if we could make it. I don't know if we're going to make this one. Very narrow canyon going all the way up. We are at the second creek. Doesn't look like much of a creek, but that's Slussy. This is the old road which isn't a road anymore but it's an all right walking trail with lots of brush cover we are at a creek that drains the canadian border peak you can see up there and the road is this way it's been relatively flat the whole way, but you can see basically bushwhacking the whole way. And uh, what we want to do is get to the next creek. Lots of huge landslides, hundreds of meters wide. Got to go around the old road, which is not even an old road anymore. We are at Glacier Creek. This creek runs up and drains a bunch of the mountains. There's a couple other ones here that connect. If you go up this, there's a giant snow cavern about a kilometer up at the bottom of the mountain. So what we're gonna do is walk this creek. We're gonna look for some float and try and find some mineralized samples. All right, we have our first mineralized sample. Take a look at this. You can see in here, you have actinolite, as well as over there. This looks like a mix of scarn with quartz, and you have mineralization disseminated. Looks like bismuth tellurides which is what the lone jack had on the other side of the US border. Another mineralized sample here. You can see pyrite, calcopyrite in minor amounts. Very, very nice. Nicely mineralized. Take a look at this. This right here is all sulfides, all this black. You have speckled sulfides throughout, which look like bismuth telluride. You can see all throughout the sample. It's mineralized. And that is very interesting right there as well. That little line of maybe visible gold. So this is the creek, Glacier Creek, where they have a historic sample where they found over an ounce per ton 
of visible gold in quartz and that's the creek we're sampling on this is a very nice sample we are just finding loads and loads of samples take a look at this you have granite you have sulfides you see this is quartz here this was a little quartz seam cutting through there and you have more sulfides in here so here I see pyrite mostly maybe a little bismuth telluride too Some of these look very interesting. It'll be nice to get some of these under the, the loop and see up close. Take a look at this. Massive sulfides. And the other half. Mostly pyrite. You have some bismuth Tellurides from what it looks like very nicely mineralized another float rock here you can see very mineralized you have calcopyrite in there and you have pyrite you see mineralization Nice little boulder full of it. Another one here. A lot of mineralized samples on this creek. More mineralized samples. And another mineralized float rock here. You can see sulfides all over. Mostly pyrite. A little bit of puritite. Two more samples here. You can see the band of sulfides cutting through. Your second sample here. A lot of this material is similar to what we're seeing in Canyon Creek coming down from the the mountain and some nice samples today we went up Glacier Creek about three four hundred meters it is a four hour plus hike back most of the creeks that cut through have huge landslides and it's a three four hundred meter landslide that you have to climb over top of to get to the, the road. For instance, this is a uh, an actual road. It goes from here, used to cut across here. It's now a creek that connects to this one up here. So, a lot of overgrowth, 
road hasn't been drivable for at least 40 years. But it is manageable to get here in about four hours. And we are about to head out now, so thanks for watching. And we'll see you in the next video.